The gentleman from Ohio. Good morning, Mr. Speaker. Request permission to address the House, revise and extend. Without objection. The $700 billion bailout for Wall Street is being driven by fear, not fact. This is too much money in too short a time going to too few people while too many questions remain unanswered. Why aren't we having hearings on the plan we just received? Why aren't we questioning the underlying premise of the need for a bailout with taxpayers' money? Why have we not even considered any alternatives other than to give $700 billion to Wall Street? Why aren't we asking Wall Street to clean up its own mess? Why aren't we passing new laws to stop the speculation which triggered this? Why aren't we putting up new regulatory structures to protect the investors? How do we even value the $700 billion in toxic assets? Why aren't we directly helping homeowners with their debt burden? Why aren't we helping American families faced with bankruptcy? Why aren't we reducing debts for Main Street instead of Wall Street? Isn't it time for fundamental change in our debt-based monetary system so we can free ourselves from the manipulation of the federal res by the Federal Reserve and the banks? Is this the United States Congress or the Board of Directors of Goldman Sachs? Wall Street is a place of bears and bulls. It's not smart to force taxpayers to dance with bears or to follow closely behind the bulls. The gentleman's time has expired. The gentleman from South Carolina. The speaker has permission to address the House for one minute, revising similar remarks. Without objection. If this were a dictatorship, it'd be a heck of a lot easier. <laughs> Just so long as I'm the dictator. 